Hey everyone, this is Pete with Looking Diecast. Today I'm checking out the 2020 Mustang series. This is a 12 car set, but only the first six have been released so far. The Mustang set is coming right up. Looks like Matchbox did a great job on the corridor. Each unique car is shown on the card pack. They're all racing through what looks to be like Monument Valley in Utah. The Mustang Pony and the Matchbox logo are up in the top left, and the car number and series number are on the hanger. The second six cars are going to be recolors of the first six. The first car is the 18 Ford Mustang Convertible. This is a newer casting. It debuted last year in the mainline. The demand in my area for this model has been very low, and I can usually find this one readily on the pegs. This issue is a dark metal flake red with a tan interior and a smoke tinted windshield. The wheels are five spoke super fast sports, which matches every edition of this release so far. The view from the front shows us the black grille and the ground effects. This is where the tampo work was done on this car. The headlights and directionals are painted. The tampo work on this car is fairly minimal, and that's true for most of this set, but the designs work really well. The back of the car has painted black detail. The tail lights are painted red, and here's the best features. The GT logo looks great on the back, and the license plate is black with the Pony logo. Fun fact about this model's real-life counterpart, the 6th generation Mustang is the first version to offer left-hand and right-hand driver configurations. Up next is one that I really like. It's the 93 Ford Mustang LX SSP in the Texas State Trooper livery. If you've been collecting Matchbox for a few years, you might remember the 2018 Texas Patrol 5-pack. In case you missed it, you can check it out in my video. I opened it up some time ago, and I'll put a link up at the end of this video. This one is black enamel with a lot of tampo work. We'll start with the side. On the door is the Texas Department of Public Safety logo. And on the front quarter panel, it says State Trooper, and it has the 5.0 logo. The wheels here are ring disc with black rims. Matchbox uses this rim type often on these types of vehicles. I think it's a great choice. The hood, roof, and trunk are painted white. I would have liked to have seen a unit number on top. I think that would give the issue a little more realistic look. The windows are clear and the interior is gray, and it's got a light bar on top. This interior is really, really detailed. It's very tough to show that detail here, but I think you can see the computer mount to the dash, and around back you can see those lights molded into the back shelf. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the 68 Ford Mustang, the Mudstanger. This is a modified off-road vehicle and is a favorite with collectors. It debuted in 2016 and it's had seven releases in that short time. If you're a fan of this casting, be sure to check out the Color Changers line. It was released twice there. Let's take a look at this release. It's hard to look past those massive wheels. Those are two ring, eight dot silver, and they are huge. Gray base is beefy, raises that body up. There's side rails to help that driver up, and boy, I think I'd need a ladder. The body paint is gray, matte finish. It's got mud splashed up all over the sides, and the Mustang logo on the front quarter panel is partially covered up. The Matchbox logo is on the rear quarter. The front of this car looks awesome. It's muddy as could be, and has a big skull and crossbones on the hood. The front grille and bumper are brown, because they're part of the interior. And the windshield is clear, but it's kind of tough to make out much detail in that dark interior. Off-road fans are definitely going to want to get their hands on this tough-looking release. California Dreaming. This next one was pretty tough to find. The car is beautiful, so it's no surprise that it's a tough one to pick up. This is the 68 Ford Mustang GTCS, or as it's known, the California Special. The production of the Mustang CS was very limited. In 1968, Ford set a goal of 5,000, but based on orders, only 4,118 California Specials were produced. The Matchbox release of this car is absolutely stunning. The metal flake blue paint really shines in the light. We got a lot to talk about on the side here. There's white stripes that run down the side. On the front quarter panel is the Mustang logo. Even the door handle is painted. It says CS in the stripe right behind the door. And on the rear quarter panel, the directional is painted. And it says California Special in cursive. 
The cut tri-spoke wheels look so good. There's chrome along the base of this car, but it's not actually the base, it's part of the interior. It's rare that I show the bottom of these cars, but this one's pretty interesting. You can see how there's a space for the interior to come down and add some color, in this case chrome. More chrome up front, the grill and license plate are chrome, the tooling on the hood is extremely well done. And around back it's pretty much the same deal, chrome tail lights and a license plate. The windows are smoke tint and the interior is chrome. Ford's marketing tag for the CS was California made it happen and now Matchbox made it happen. What a fantastic release of this California special. This next one is the one that I had the hardest time tracking down. In fact I only saw it one time and when I did I bought it. It's the 65 Ford Mustang GT and it is gorgeous. 65 was the first year for the Mustang, and this casting is extremely popular with collectors of my era, and probably everywhere. The pure white enamel paint is super glossy, and there's more tampa work on this car than most of these in the series. You can see the racing stripes running down the hood, roof, and trunk. The stripes are gold. The interior is light gray, and the windows are smoke tint. Another gold stripe runs along the side, and the 289 emblem is in the front quarter. I couldn't even make out the details of the emblem out by eye. It's pretty clear once you take a photo and zoom in. Mattel's paint technology is amazing. Again, this release has those tri-cut spoke wheels. This is an absolutely fantastic casting. Really tough to find, but if you do go out there and hunt one down, you'll be glad you did. It's definitely worth adding to your collection. Last one in this set so far is the 19 Ford Mustang Coupe. This is a really, really nice casting, and I was surprised that these were so readily available around here, especially if you consider that this is the first edition of this casting. Next to the 18 convertible, this had the most cars still hanging on the peg. This release has a dark metallic green paint job, no tampo work on the side, and they went with gold five-spoke Super Sports. The interior is gray, and the windows are smoke tint. In the front, the headlights are painted, and you can see the grill is set back deep and looks great. Around back, there's painted tail lights and a painted license plate. If all of this looks familiar, it should. This is basically the same casting as the convertible that we looked at first. If you're a Mustang fan or a serious Matchbox collector, you should definitely consider picking up this first edition. It's good looking and not too hard to find in stores. So that's it so far on the Mustang series. I went on the Matchbox Fandom website this morning and saw that they've added photos of the second color variations for these cars. I cannot wait until they show up here, and when they do, I'll be sure to open them up for you on the show. Thanks so much for watching, and until I see you next time, enjoy the ride.